Hello and welcome to the Sotera training video. Today we'll be covering Sotera global admin uh, connection and configuration to the Sotera portal. There will be another video available for a Sotera virtual portal admin. So let's go ahead and connect as a Sotera portal global admin. The main difference being um, appending the Sotera portal address, we have an admin at the end and this will uh, connect you to the admin um, interface so let's connect with my admin user now the main difference connecting as an admin uh, as opposed to a virtual portal admin is the fact that here I have this drop down menu that shows me all the virtual portals or tenants that I have connected to Terra Portal. So today we'll be covering the administration section. In the administration section, I'm presented with a uh, dashboard that covers all the main activities and main uh, relevant uh, events that's going on in Terra Portal. For example, uh, notifications about the health of the Terra uh, uh, Tomcat. Uh, some portals that are reaching uh, full capacity and uh, also here I can see the amount of devices that are connected to my portal on a global level uh, meaning um, as a, uh, a, a total of all the devices that uh, are connected to all my tenants on my virtual portals uh, I can check on the system status and um, the amount of storage I have uh, available the amount of storage that I have provisioned my users and the amount of storage is actually being used, uh, user count, uh, licenses, uh, how many have been provisioned and how many have been used, etc. And also the licensing, um, where I can review the uh, type of license that I have um, on my portal, meaning the amount of storage that I have licensed, uh, amount of cloud drive licenses, uh, virtual gateway licenses, backup and server licenses. Okay. Uh, as a global admin, so some of the uh, activities and operations that are required are, for example, creating and configuring virtual portals. So I will do this from the portal uh, menu by selecting a new portal, or I can just simply review and search uh, for some uh, specific portal that I would like to configure. Uh, so here we have my own uh, virtual portal, uh, Liam's Cloud. I can see that it has uh, one terabyte worth of uh, data provisioned and uh, using only 60 uh, gigabytes. In the server menu, uh, here we will, we will cover um, and review the uh, different components we have of the server portal. Uh, so remembering that we have an application server, a catalog node, and a preview server. Uh, these are the main three components of the Sotera portal. Uh, so here we can just very easily uh, update the different components and just check on the status. Uh, the devices um, menu will show us all the connected devices to my Sotera portal on a global level. Reports, I can create specific reports for different portals. Uh, I can check on the status of my storage nodes. And I can check also on the notifications uh, that we saw on the main dashboard. In users, I can select all the different users that are global admin users, not to be mistaken with virtual portal uh, admins. So these are the users that have access to the global admin interface. Uh, one of the activities that is required from a global admin is, uh, for example, setting uh, provisioning plans. So plans that I will assign to my virtual tenants or to my uh, virtual portals. So let's just cover again the plan um, for Liam, which is the uh, I think it's demo, uh, portal demo plan. So here we have the portal demo plan. And if I like, I can uh, select and change the type of services. Um, if it's a trial uh, plan, the retention, uh, snapshot retention for all the file versions, and also for the uh, deleted files, the retention policy. And I can change the name, and more importantly, I can also change the type, uh, the amount of storage and the amount of licenses that this uh, virtual tenant has. 
When looking in settings, here we have uh, access to all the different type of uh, settings that we can um, configure as a global admin. Uh, we can set global settings that apply to all the virtual portals that have been created. Uh, we can set uh, notification settings. Uh, for example, in notification settings as a global admin, I would like to be alerted whenever my storage node is, is reaching capacity, if it's full, if it's offline, um, if my local VMs or my uh, Cetera components are uh, in trouble, if there is a problem with the database uh, storage pool, if it's reaching full capacity, if no snapshots have been taken, if there's issues with the certification, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so these are uh, alerts that will reach and are only relevant to the global admin. Um, here, we can also set up the firmware repository. This is also a very important menu uh, as it allows us to configure and to control the firmware versions of all our connected devices. So it's uh, one uh, file upload and this uh, file can be pushed out to all the connected devices to make sure that we are on the, the most up-to-date firmware versions. You can see that we have different uh, firmware versions for each type of Satera device from the virtual gateway to the macOS uh, Satera agent. Also important for the Satera global admin uh, logging, uh, for example. So here we have access to a very, a very uh, granular logging system that will show you um, all the different types of logins, accesses that we've had to the uh, Satera portal as an admin user. Also in the audit log, we can check all the different types of uh, modifications or configurations that have been done on a global admin level. Um, for example, we can see here that the user Pablo has removed some old uh, firmware versions and has added some new firmware versions to this to the um, uh, to this Terra platform. Um, important to note also is that these logs can be exported as an Excel file, um, and they can also uh, be set up. Uh, the Satera portal can be set up to connect to a uh, syslog server. Um, so that's very important when you're uh, dealing with a, a large amount of, uh, of logs that need auditing or parsed. Um, the Satera portal has um, in, uh, the possibility to connect to a syslog. And here in messaging settings, you will select the uh, email server and um, also the SMS server if that's relevant for your uh, configuration. We already mentioned here the logging. So here we can keep uh, the retention and set the retention uh, policy and for the syslog, this is the, the menu where we can connect to a syslog server. So these are the main um, activities, uh, main menus that we would access as a global admin user. Um, there is another video that is covering the virtual portal admin, um, where there are more uh, options uh, relevant to the day-to-day -day, uh, activities and day-to-day -day maintenance of a virtual portal. A global admin is uh, more frequently used when setting up the portal for the first time. Okay, so uh, thank you for viewing this Cetera Global Portal Admin uh, training video. Uh, I hope it was helpful. And for further information about how to set up the portal as a virtual uh, portal admin, uh, please uh, look out for the virtual portal admin demo video. Thank you.